Hey everybody, Brian Beeler here alongside Kevin O'Brien in the Storage View Lab. And today we're looking at two of the smallest things in the lab at the moment. I think the only thing smaller would be like maybe a micro SD card from Samsung. Well, considering we just had two servers dropped off uh, the opposite side of the camera to go from those to these little wee fellows, uh, we've got the Samsung Pro Plus 128 gig and the Evo Plus 128 gig SD cards. And SD cards aren't exactly revolutionary. They go in cameras. We'll see them sometimes as boot options in some servers, although there's a lot of other choices there and now. A lot of servers are going into M.2 now that um, it's going more ubiquitous and a heck of a lot cheaper. Well, the prices definitely come down on the M.2s and they're much, much faster, but still digital cameras. And this is using uh, the standard that gets you, in theory, up to about 100 megabytes per second yeah. in read. Uh, so there, it's interesting though because let's take a look at the uh, the portfolio here. Samsung for a long time only made the micro SD cards, and I think with these in this SD card family, they're back to SD cards. I think they just got to the point where enough people were buying the micros and putting them in the adapters that came in the packages. Yeah, and the adapters anyway. aren't the most durable thing. I mean, usually the uh, it's going to get kind of loose in the slot, and it might not be the best thing long term. Yeah, so just as a reminder, they've got micro SD, SD cards, which we're looking at today. Uh, both of these come in capacities up to 256. And the uh, the UFS ones are something that's kind of neat. You have to have a device that supports it, but they uh, uh, can hit up to 500 megabytes per second read. Certainly not CF Express territory, but a heck of a lot more than these traditional uh, SD cards. Yeah quick tour through the specs. This is the uh, Samsung Pro Plus. Uh, anything uh, in particular stand out to you here? Not really, but if you look at the Pro Plus versus the uh, Evo, and kind of switching back and forth, the main difference is the speed grade. Um, the Pro model is grade three uh, across the entire lineup. The Evo is uh, grade one in the smaller capacities because the, um, the Evo has a much larger uh, write uh, speed drop off. Those guys go at uh, 20 megs a second for 32 and 64, whereas the uh, Pro is uh, 60, 90 megabytes per second. Although they're all 100 megabytes a second across the board for read speed. Yeah, that which is which is interesting. That's a good catch. So in those smaller capacities on the Evo Plus, you'll just want to keep an eye out for that. Although I mean, at that point, it's a value drive. It's a couple bucks, right? Yeah. Um, my favorite part, if you look towards the bottom, is the uh, 10,000 uh, mating cycle support. And yes. this isn't normally how you think of storage in a mating cycle. Usually it's insertion cycles, <laughs> uh, but maybe the connector is a little bit different in this case. But uh, it's... I mean, overall, when you're looking at this uh, type of platform, it, you're going to be putting your car, uh, the card inside a uh, camera probably a couple times a day. It adds up. It adds up, but mating cycle brings out the 10-year-old in me when you think about that on the spec sheet. Um, True. Although I'm not sure insertion cycle is any better at that point. Okay, so they're really excited, too, about the seven-proof bit and then the 10-year warranty. We're going to talk a little bit more about that as we go through and here we shall. So one of the things that Samsung's done a really good job with over the years with their portable drives and their SD cards is this proofness where you've got water, temperature, x-ray, all sorts of uh, capabilities. For a mobile product, that's a, a great thing to, to see, especially as something this small. Yeah, although the, the one thing I didn't see brought up on this, and I was kind of hoping the shock proof uh, was gonna cover it, but uh, electrostatic discharge. You're going to be in an area where you're probably going to be in and out of someone's pocket. You're probably going to see static discharge. I kind of wish they covered that since that is a, uh, a killer, you could say, of a lot of flash products. Well, yeah, they that would be a good one. They could add that for eighth proof. The waterproof is 72 hours and one meter of seawater. So that's pretty good if you're saltwater fishing, you drop your camera. Well, yeah. As long I mean, as you can retrieve it, your data will be okay. Yeah, and it's gold plated connectors and it's probably a mostly sealed body. So you're going to be pretty good for a lot of corrosion uh, type of environments. On temperatures, we're looking at negative 25 C to 85 C. I don't know what that is in American, but that sounds like a lot. That sounds toasty. <laughs> uh, X ray proof, uh, send it through the machine a lot, I suppose. Magnet proof says that. Uh, Magnet proof will protect in a field equivalent of a MRI scanner at uh, 15,000. Is that gauze? How do you say that? I think gauze, but yeah. you, they're not going to want you to put anything that's not human into it. Yeah, yeah. A, we're, not in, we're not 
advocating for taking these in the MRI scanner. Uh, magnet, uh, we did magnet drop proof uh, five meters, which is 16 and something feet. And the shock proof, to your point, is, uh, is 1500 G for 30 seconds, which is uh, kind of interesting. And of course, we already covered the vaunted uh, 10,000 mating cycles. Yeah. So that all with a 10 year warranty and you've got a very durable card at a entry price point, really. Yeah. All right, so if we take a look at uh, the other key features here, and you've talked about this a lot yeah, with there's, fraudulent cards and technology. Yeah, depending on your online retailer, there are issues where you're going to uh, go out and buy a drive, and it turns out that you might not get the product. And you don't find as much, you, know, you really don't find it You get the product, the, just not the one you thought you were getting. Yeah, you're not going to find it a lot on the M.2s or the SATA devices or things like, things like that, but for the Flash products, it's really common to try, yeah, you'll get in something where the logo will look a little bit off or the capacities will be a little bit different. So if it says Samsung on it, probably not a good buy. Probably not. <laughs> so they've got an application for Windows that lets you check authenticity. It's a, a nice little value add, I guess, if you're gonna be buying a bunch of these. Yeah. We talked a little bit about performance profile before. This is Samsung specs uh, to give you a feel and to Kevin, your point on that, that lower bin. Uh, memory on the Evo Plus on those smaller capacities, you're going to eat it on the rights. Yeah. You're testing, though. Yeah, so overall, the uh, the drives worked pretty well. And so this is the, uh, the more cost-effective Evo Plus, and you're going to get about 90 megs a second read. In this case, we measured uh, 60 megs a second uh, write uh, for the uh, random large block transfers. This is around 82 read and 53 uh, write. 4K random, you're probably, and I, I should say, I really hope you're not running workloads that are not 4K <laughs> random, but it's a little under fire and IOPS uh, uh, read and like 275 write. Well, it's interesting data nonetheless, though, just from a comparative landscape, you know, just to give people some balance between what this is. And then when we look at faster cards, when you start thinking about, is that investment worth it? It's yeah. useful data. Although you didn't run in any of the uh, four thread this time to more fully obliterate these poor little things. No, these usually when I've done that, it's killed cards. So. Yeah, but you did run it on the CF Express. So if it's got the ability to perform, then you'll run more threads. Yeah. All right. So, so. the Pro Plus, um, you, it dro well, actually it dropped off a little bit on the uh, read speed. And the uh, write speed is a bit better, but again, I mean, it's really hard to find um, a lot of stringent uh, performance on these types of devices from model to model. We it's, see that all the time, and, and in fact, we could probably go buy 10 of these on, on Amazon or whatever, test them all, and get slightly different performance profiles. Yeah, it, it really comes down to how a lot of these uh, flash vendors will bin different grades of products. So right. you're going to you're gonna find your highest grades in an enterprise box, a little bit less than that on the uh, consumer uh, internal do, uh, devices. But when it comes to thumb drives and SD cards, I mean, those are the, the step up uh, beyond the, like, is it going to die? Is it not going to die? And it's... It's not as strong as where you'd find the uh, products more uprange. Right, and so in, in especially here when we're doing reviews of one, we expect some, some variability. Vari yeah, variation. All right, so finish off the thought then on these numbers. So overall, this guy got 82 uh, megs a second read on sequential, uh, 73 or 74 megabytes a second uh, write on the uh, two meg random, 78 read, 60 write, and then uh, 426 IOPS Similar read on 260. Yeah, so overall. Not that bad, but it's not, um, for a creator, I should say, it's not going to be the fastest product, but a lot of these things are sold on capacity and cost effectiveness. Capacity and cost. And if you're a photographer, you're probably more concerned about the data being there than how fast you transfer it from the camera to your car, to your computer, whatever your program is to back up your data. Yeah, and you're probably going through a ton of these, so endurance might not be as big of a play because you're going to be going through a lot of uh, a lot of them or depending on the pro body that you have you might be writing to uh, two SD cards at the same time okay so yeah I think though that the 10-year warranty goes a long way to to make people feel like this is a good investment for a mainstream SD card uh, you know the pro is going to give you a little bit better on the rights it's not a huge difference so if you're really strapped you can probably make do with the higher capacity uh, Evo uh, but otherwise, given all the other wear protection, the X-ray, the water, the uh, the G-force, you know, all those sorts of things, it's a good 
in a market that's filled with a lot of um, dubious offerings like uh, Samsung SS, SD cards, knowing that you're getting a, a quality product that's validated to be real, that has the 10 year warranty is, uh, is probably worth spending a couple extra bucks if you value those so important memories, such yeah. important memories that you, you capture with your camera. Yes. All right. That's it for this review. Thanks for tuning in.